Their three-and-a-half-hour virtual meeting began with the two leaders stressing their responsibility to the world to avoid conflict. It seems to me our responsibility as leaders of China and the United States is to ensure that the competition between our countries does not veer into conflict, whether intended or unintended. Just simple, straightforward competition. Topping the agenda, Taiwan. A record number of Chinese warplanes intruded into the island's air defense zone last month, with Beijing increasingly talking of reunification. Chinese state media after the summit reported that Xi told Biden that encouraging Taiwanese independence would be playing with fire and those who play with fire will get burned. Xi said their countries had to work more closely. We face multiple challenges together. As the world's two largest economies and permanent members of the UN Security Council, China and the United States need to increase communication and cooperation. Biden said he was against unilateral efforts to change the status quo or undermine peace regarding Taiwan. Also discussed were China's practices in Tibet and Hong Kong and what Washington condemns as a genocide of ethnic Uyghurs in Xinjiang province. They chatted too about the climate emergency, COVID and trade, among other things. These were the longest discussions the two leaders have had since Biden became president in January. They've only previously spoken by phone twice since then. The U.S. sees the contacts as managing a relationship that's too big to fail, Beijing says it wants to safeguard a peaceful and stable international environment.